Delphi murders investigation, we're continuing and learning some new information that potentially investigators may have known for years that Richard Allen, the Delphi suspect, was on the Monon High Bridge the day Abby and Libby were killed. Now, I've pulled this up from wishtv.com. There's multiple reports coming in, and, they're, and they do vary. This, this is uh, very dynamic information right now, but I do want to share what I know. Uh, if you have comments, please post those. We'd like to get that information. Uh, but, but gosh, guys, this is, this is crazy. If this were true, uh, just unbelievable to say, to say the least. And what we're learning from these reports, I'm going to make this bigger. We're learning that Richard Allen himself actually admitted, he actually approached an Indiana state conservation officer and said, that he was in the area and he, 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 he did not see the girls. Now, I've seen some reports that actually say he admitted that he was on the bridge. Some reports are saying that he was on the trails. And either way, him saying that he was in the area that day, February 13th, is a huge red flag. Now, this conservation officer, I mean, this is basically a law enforcement officer that's getting this information, but it sounds like the information was just pr pretty much discarded. It was very low key. It, it, it sounds like it was documented. Uh, the reason we know this is I'm gonna pull back up the article so I can just, I can just share it with y'all. So it, it appears that uh, on the day of the, kill, the, the killings, this report may have been considered unfounded that he was actually in that area. So what, what we're learning from it is, is that uh, investigators do believe that Alan is the man on the bridge in the cell phone video and in the sketches. So they, they do believe that from, from these reports and that they were frustrated by this case. And so they, just, they didn't have a lot of information to go off. Years had passed. So they asked other investigators to start looking over these files again and see if maybe something was missed and they may have just found that information sitting there realizing that Richard Allen had had come forward and had, had actually expressed that he was in that area. Uh, a couple, couple thoughts on, on this. Richard Allen did know many people in the community. Again, people just thought he was just a super nice guy. Uh, they, they just didn't suspect him. And, and so it sounds like this potential investigation into him being there just was swept under the rug. Now, uh, another, another thing that was mentioned in this article was they did confirm the search of the Wabash River was linked to the Delphi investigation. Uh, the last five weeks that they were searching, it was initiated because of Kagan Klein. He said that police would find a cell phone and a weapon in the river. Uh, it's unknown, of course, what they found or what they did not find. And we do know that Kagan does lie. He's lied multiple times. He's been very inconsistent with many of his statements to investigators. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this new information? If, if true, right? This is, again, coming from a lot of different sources uh, Murder Sheet podcast was actually on this article in, in the video if y'all want to watch that. And again, I'll link that down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. All right, more information is probably going to be coming in here in the next few days, and I'll let y'all know. Take care.